I think the one thing that people are still and unfortunately focusing on is the hex price and not the T-share ratchet. Remember, liquid hex is like having a ticket on the T-share train that you never got on, period. Sure. Hex is only use case is to get T-shares. Otherwise, you could have a luxury Porsche with zero gas and zero battery. That can go up and down in value. But does it turn on? Can you go vroom vroom with it? Is it usable for absolutely anything? No. And look at what the God Whale is doing now. At a 45-day regiment, yes, we get a little less payout. But that amount of yield rubber banding will push the T-share rate at a much higher ratchetable amount. Look at HSI auctions, 90-day windows between one circular loop of that. That, through many different revolutions, will push the Hedron burn. And as the Hedron burn goes, Hedron becomes more rare. Now, Hedron is based on your paradigm of a T-share. Now, if the God Whale keeps doing this and cycling it every 45 days, he pushes that pump of the T-share price up further and further and further. Faster and faster and faster. Because we would assume that the God Whale doesn't need the money to dump. What he's doing is he's pressing the button that says go faster. It only takes one snowflake to create an avalanche. And after that, it's gravity on how it divides further. <laughs> yeah, just so I'm not, I'm not, uh, I can't remember exactly the God Whale. So he staked a bunch of hex recently. And is there something he does every 45 days or what uh, it's, it, it's just starting. So we're basically playing people chess right now. Right. And so like he just took 2 billion hex or whatever the thing is. It's like 11,000 T shares or some nonsensey thing. Um, and he only staked it for 45 days. But when I talk about what real, real game theory, the buzzword that people like to use, it's mechanics or levers divided by systemic design or the board and that parentheses times social consensus, which is your opponent. Now we've seen what the God will does. He does not need the money, which is the same reason why we trust Richard. He does not need the money. When people try to use the imaginary horribles, they're projecting themselves on top of the same ideals. Do you think Warren Buffett needs to dump on people's heads or all the rest of that? No. He waits till people are in fear and then gobbles up some delicious. So the same things with people that have the metric weight to do something, they will press the button to benefit themselves and those with the same ideals. Um, I tossed that um, link in the uh, private chat, Max, which talks about Buffett is now circling to be the third richest person in the world. And Bershaw Hathaway is just an ETF of a whole bunch of shit that they started along with the vision. I believe he started with like trains, I believe, way back in the day, and then moved through to different and different utilities of ideals. That is inherently the same ideal of what a T-share is. And where its yield is. When people talk about the hex price, they're missing the point. It's all about binding on top of a T-share. T-share is the most important thing. And the only way you get on the T-share train is with hex. Yeah, you know, when I go to check hex daily stats, which I do not do every day, um, that's the first price I look at is the T-share price. And it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I mean, Crispy and um, Dev Huey have some fantastic sites to future model it. I mean, I remember when we had, oh God, Max, what was the the one made back in the day? Not Hex, not the Hex Daily Stats. It was um, not Hex Fire. I forget what it was. Way, way, way back in the day that we used to use to project when the old stakes came out. But that was just a curve, yeah. or it, it was a scatter plot, and when things came out. It didn't actually plot when things are moving up and in at the same time. And um, I love what um, the, the Fiat and the Fatty people are doing because that site is really delicious to then start to aggregate on the type of stuff that's being done from there. We have other things being built in the background, such as Tetra with Stu, that's going to allow trading models to be able to use based on addresses that correlate and aggregate based on those type of things. So understanding where we are and what we're doing is one good, good thing. 
But understanding what you have, which is the T-share rate, is your 401k. Everyone talking about price appreciation, just trying to retire early. Why not look at what you have, which is all of us pay Social Security, all of us that are adults that have jobs that contribute to the 401k, have their 401k or their Roth IRAs, or they're just right directly IRAs. We're already doing those things. Why not look at the future instead of being a fax machine maximalist and worrying about the price? Price means jack and shit. What matters is what survives.